What's up y'all? I'm Andy Story with Wild Lumens. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make carnivore diet fat bombs. This is a recipe that I recently made from the carnivore cookbook by Jessica Haggard over at Primal Edge Health. This is an amazing book full of inspiration and information. And if you're looking to increase your carnivore diet cooking repertoire, I highly advise it. Subscribe now. The official name for today's recipe is the mozzarella meat bomb. And I have three top reasons on why I really like these. Number one, you're gonna be able to get in a good amount of healthy fats, which with carnivore diet or sometimes can be a problem. We seem to not get enough fat and usually eat too much lean meat. But by doing this using ground beef and adding some tallow, as you'll see, uh, that we'll get to shortly, you'll see that we will have a good amount of healthy fat in this recipe. Number two is meal prep. Today, I'm gonna make a smaller batch just for myself, my brother, and his girlfriend, but if I was to meal prep for the week, I could double or triple the amount of meat used and have this meal ready for the next day or two. And also, I should mention, these are good as a snack and can be served cold because of the cheese and the meat. It just has something special about it that it's okay to eat cold. Third reason is salt. Most carnivore dieters aren't getting enough in their diet and most advocates and doctors of the carnivore diet recommend five to 10 grams, maybe a little more if you have a heavy workout schedule. This particular recipe calls for one tablespoon, but you can add a little more depending on taste and if that's what you wanna do is add more salt. So now let's dive into the ingredients we'll be using today. Diving into our ingredients, first up we have ground beef. This is an 85-15 ratio, meaning 15% fat. I usually like to go with an 80-20 or a 70-30 fat ratio but this is just what I had for today and this is grass fed. That's a pound, so this recipe calls for a pound. Our second ingredient is gonna be whole milk mozzarella cheese. Our third ingredient, which wasn't called out in the cookbook, but I'm actually adding just to add some more fat, is beef tallow. This is by Epic, it's a great carnivorous company, grass fed beef tallow. Uh, it's an easy way to get rendered fat, or you can make it yourself and save money. Fourth is Redmond sea salt. As you can see, this is a gallon's worth, and the reason I have a gallon is because we go through a ton of salt, and when you buy it by the gallon, you actually end up saving money. Buying in bulk is the way to go. I'd also wanna talk about this brand. I like them because Redmond sources their salt from an ancient seedbed in Utah, which in my opinion is superior because this isn't coming from the ocean, which can contain microplastics and other chemicals. This way you know it hasn't been tarnished by human activity. Now is a good time to preheat your oven to 350. To start off, all we have to do now is mix in a tablespoon of salt into the ground beef and then turn that ground beef into about eight meatballs. It's gonna be approximately two ounces each on those meatballs. Place it in your glass dish that is oven compatible. Here we go. We have one pound, which makes about eight meatballs. All we have to do now is leave a little hole in the middle where we'll be adding our cheese and tallow. In this step, all we have to do is add the tallow and the cheese and then close up the meatballs and they'll be ready to be put in the oven. So 
about a quarter teaspoon of tallow is all you need. Now we're just dropping in some mozzarella. We can close up our meatballs and get them ready for the oven. Our eight meatballs are ready for the oven. All we need to do is cook them for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. It's been 20 minutes. We just got the meatballs out of the oven and now it's time to dig in and see how they taste. Taste. Tastes good. Tastes like a ball of fat with some cheese and that good hearty, meaty, ground beef taste. Mm. Later on, I'm gonna try these chilled, but I have a feeling they're gonna taste just as good. And as the recipe said in the cookbook, these are great to have as snacks or to have them handy whenever you are feeling hungry and it's totally cool to eat them cold. One other thing I wanna mention you guys is to go hit that subscribe button, especially if you like carnivore diet related content, recipes, and shenanigans. Thanks a million for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video.